The Payday 3 modding scene is pretty alive, although the game servers may not be, but anyways, if you're trying to launch the game with command line arguments such as DX12 to play in DirectX 12 mode or file open log in order to get certain pack mods to load, how do we do that in Game Pass? Well, for Steam, it's super simple. Locate the game, right click, add properties, then simply enter any launch arguments you have here. Super simple, and it just works. But if we try and do this on the Xbox Game Pass app, so I'll open up Xbox, we obviously have nothing of the type. Here. If we click the three dots and maybe even manage, there's nothing here. How exactly do we get around this? Well, the answer is very simple. Simply open up the Xbox app, navigate across to Payday 3, click the three dots here, then choose Manage. Now, while you think you can create a desktop shortcut, and you technically can, you can't add arguments to the end of it. Properties, you can see here, then it's just firing up a Windows Store app. We can't add any arguments. What we can do, however, is on the Files tab, navigate across to where the game is installed by clicking Browse here. It'll then open up a Windows Explorer on your PC and take us straight to where the game is, where we can open Payday 3, and we have all of the game's files inside of Content. All we need to do here is navigate navigate into Payday 3, followed by Binaries, then WinGDK, which is the Game Pass version of the app, and find the Payday 3 client exe here. Right-click this and choose create desktop shortcut. For me, it's hidden away in here with my custom context menu. But anyways, we have a shortcut here. Otherwise, it'll be placed on your desktop if you receive an error about permissions. All we need to do now is find the shortcut on our desktop, name it something nice, such as Payday 3, but it doesn't really matter. Right click and hit properties. Then inside of here, in the target section, you'll see that it begins with and ends with double quotes like this. All we need to do is navigate all the way to the very end, pass the double quotes, hit space, and enter our arguments here, such as hyphen DX12 and hyphen file open log. Now, while this does work, unfortunately, the DX12 argument doesn't. DirectX 12 doesn't seem to be built into the Game Pass version of the app for some reason, and including this doesn't actually do anything. How do we actually know that this is working? Well, if I open up the game folder here, navigate back, then into Content, Packs, you'll see in here that I have a Mods folder. In here, I've placed a mod to do with the Solo mod, which I'll get to as soon as the game servers are working again, but you'll see that with this pack file put here, if I try and launch the game through Xbox Game Pass, you'll see an error, this one here. What we need to do is add the file open log argument and it'll suddenly start working. That's exactly what I've done in the shortcut all the way at the very end here. So if we run the shortcut, you'll see that the game starts up as normal with all of our mods loaded properly, or at least these modified pack files. Launch arguments are actually working. If I open up a task manager with control shift and escape, then navigate across to the processes tab and enable the command line section as such, you'll see that for Payday 3, expanding it, we have all of this text here for where the game is located, but all the way on the far right, we have DX12 and file open log, meaning that our arguments were successfully passed to the game, whether the game recognizes that or not. Now, unfortunately, as mentioned earlier, the servers are having a rough time to say the least. Anyways, beyond the point of this video, command line arguments are working for Payday 3 in the Game Pass version of the game, albeit a little bit different to the Epic Games and Steam version. Thank you all for watching. That's really about it for the super quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Mine has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.